What's up, guys? Um, it's your boy Delia. Um, I'm coming. I'm coming at you with some final thoughts on Jumanji. In my opinion, it wasn't the best movie with The Rock and Kevin Hart duo. Um, like they have great chemistry and all that. I like. I, I like. Everybody loves their movies. They're they're hilarious. But with this movie, it to me, they didn't really shine a lot of light on Robin Williams, his his character, and like just in him in general because, um, like he passed away recently, and like you know, like you expect like at, at the end of movies like this, where like you expect them to say like rest in peace, the great Robin Williams, at the end of the movie, at the end of the credits that wasn't even on there it was like he didn't even exist like he wasn't even a part of this a part of this movie franchise you know and that's just it's not it's not good um you know it, another thing like i didn't like how the movie was a video game robin williams did not spend 26 years trapped in jumanji to have the game turn into a plug and play video game it's stupid. I, I I expected more out of it. I expected some like throwbacks. I mean, there was a couple of throwbacks, like the little elephant um, piece. It was it was a piece that was a part of the old Jumanji board game, and it was actually Alan Parrish's piece. There was a couple of hints here and there, like little throwbacks, but like they they completely took this a whole different route, and I didn't really like it. This wasn't even really a sequel. It wasn't a prequel. This was like a whole new movie. I mean, that's a, that's fine, okay? Like, if that's the route you want to go, okay? But you didn't even acknowledge that the, one of the greatest actors out there, Robin Williams, you didn't even acknowledge him, but maybe once in the movie, and it wasn't even him. You acknowledged his character. I expected more out of it. Um, it's very disrespectful to Robin Williams. We, we want to imagine his memory and everything that he, everything he put into that movie in 1995 when this comes out it's all fun and games and jokes between the rock and heart and at some point you got to realize that like you're making a movie that one of the greatest actors was in it was corny the movie was very corny you had the like typical bad guy and you had the rock you had heart jack black all them just joking around throughout the movie it was too funny like you know everybody always expects like the rock and heart being together it being funny and stuff but like at some point you gotta realize that like they need to make something that's more serious less joking around and stuff the original jumanji wasn't as corny as this one to me you just cannot recreate a robin williams movie that's just uh my opinion on it everybody loves the rock and kevin hart they did great in the movie it was good and all it was just to me it was corny one thing, like at the end of the movie, there was this the the, the the scene where he threw they threw a cannonball on the game, like it was over. You could hear the drums uh, beating, like it was coming for him, and then uh, then out of nowhere, uh, they drop a bowling ball on the game, and then it stops, and then that's the end of the movie. What are you doing, Sony? Uh, like, what are you wanting us to think? What are you wanting us to? Because like. After something like that, there's nothing to think about. Like, you throw a bowling ball on the game, and then it's over. Can you not get better than that? I was expecting something amazing. Something portraying, like, a next movie. But then you just close on that. It was very bland. It was very poorly written right there at the end. Like, other than that, like, the characters and all that, they were, it was great. It was, I, I mean, I liked the movie, but it was just ruined for me just because of the fact that you get hints to Robin Williams character itself but like you don't really you don't get any hints like you don't you don't get any remembrance of him you just get the remembrance of the character itself then like you don't see anything at the end saying rest in peace to the late great Robin Williams it was just, I don't know it's just very poorly made it's okay to make movies funny and all, but don't put people like The Rock and The Heart in a movie where they could possibly end up ruining it. That's what's going to happen. It, they're going to ruin Jumanji after this. I've seen everything, comments, people hating on the movie, hating on The Rock and Kevin Hart for the movie because they've ruined the character of Robin Williams. They've ruined 
everything about Jumanji in and of itself. The movie was just entirely different. It went completely from a board game all the way to a video game. It was also different because they went into the video game in different characters of the video game like they were actually playing in like a story mode kind of a thing. That's not how it was with the Jumanji with Robin Williams. He was just trapped in the jungle for 26 years and then he comes back. They just completely took a different turn with this. I understand with this one they were portraying that the game evolved and changed through time. It really changed the movie and to me you kind of ruined it. I mean I'm not trying to change anyone's opinions. Y'all should all go watch the movie. I I liked I I liked it. it is funny, but then again, when you watch it and then you remember the one with Robin Williams, you just take a, a seat back and you think on it and you just realize that maybe they shouldn't have made this movie. Other than that, go watch it. Let me know what y'all think. Um, it was different. Uh, it, it's not like the other one. Just just a heads up. Uh, don't let my opinions make you not want to go watch it. Go watch the movie. Enjoy it if you do. If you don't, I mean, that's okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, much love, guys. Peace out.